the name of topic is Barrector Diode, Gun Diode and Laser Diode of the Analog Electronic Subject. So we first of all discuss about the Barrector Diode and what is the Barrector Diode? Barrector Diode is a special type of PN junction diode. So in which PN junction capacitance is controlled using reverse bias voltage. So here the reverse bias voltage is controlled by the capacitance. When the diode is forward bias, current will flow through the diode. This is, that is the uh, own condition of the PN junction for this diode. When the diode is reverse bias, charge in the P end and semiconductors are drawn away from the P end junction. So interface and hence form the high resistance depletion zone. So the if the P end junction of the semiconductor diode is reverse bias, so there is a formation of depletion region. In depletion region or depletion zone, there is no flow of charge carriers or the charge carriers in, in immobile condition or there is a no flow of charge carriers across the junction. So other names of the barrector diode, which is also known as barrector variable capacitance diode. Second one is voltage variable capacitor diode. And the third one is also known as tuning diode and also known as variable reactance diode. So these are the others name of the barrector diode. This is the schematic symbol of the barrector diode. It has the two terminal. One is the anode and second one is the cathode. So it is the two terminal device. Anode is the positive terminal and cathode is the negative terminal. What is the basic operation of the barrector diode? So operates in reverse bias and this gives rise in three regions. At either end of the diode are the P and N regions. So in the uh, barrector diode, there is two regions, P region and N regions. However, around the junction is the depletion region where no current carry, carriers are available. So we know that in the depletion region or, or uh, there is no charge carriers are available in depletion region. So as a result, current can be carried in the P and N regions, but the depletion region is an insulator because there is a no flow of charge carriers. So depletion region we have as a insulator. Same as capacitor construction, it has conductive plates separately by an insulating dielectrics. So this is the capacitor construction. The capacitance of a capacitor is dependent on a number of factors, include the plate area, the dielectric constant of the insulator between the plates, and the distance between the two plates. So the capacitance of the capacitor depend on the, these parameters. In the case of barrector diode, it is possible to increase and decrease the width of the depletion region by changing the level of reverse bias. And we can also know that the depletion region width is changed by the changing in the reverse bias across the PN junction. So this has the effect of changing the distance between the P 
plates of the capstan so it has also the effect of the changing the distance between the plates of the capstan and uh, we see here in this two diagram of director diodes in diagram a we applied the reverse biasing voltage to 3 volt and uh, in that case this is the reverse bias director diode so the here a value of capacitor will be 20 pico farad what we draw the second diagram in which we applied the external reverse voltage 6 voltage then the value of the capacitor across the depletion region will be 5 pico farad so we can say that the width of the depletion region is depend on the applied external reverse voltage across the pn device so depletion region change or width of depletion region change with applied the reverse voltage so also change the capacitance across the depletion region in this character diode this graph show the characteristics of the director diode the graph between the capacitance versus reverse voltage so this show the director voltage capacitance characteristics and uh, in this graph there is change in capacitance also the change in reverse voltage if we change the reverse voltage so the value of capacitance also change with the reverse voltage so this is the characteristics of character voltage capacitance characteristics of the character diode basically the construction of character diode which materials are used in this character uh, diode construction so character diode are manufactured with gallium arsenide ga as has a higher operating frequency or up to nearly 1000 gigahertz this is the very high frequency uh, so this character diode are generally designed for the this higher operating frequency in this construction of character diode we see here there is a gold plated molybdenum stud and and below this there is gold plated wire ceramic tubes and there is also a diffuse mesa gallium arsenide so also is bottom part a gold plated molybdenum ester is also there so this is the construction of the character diode now we discuss about the vi characteristics or current versus voltage graph of the character diode we see in this graph we take the forward current in the milliampere range and reverse current in the microamperes and voltage forward voltage in voltage positive voltage and reverse voltage take the in negative voltage so here are two 
characteristics are found in this graph one is the forward wise and second one is the reverse wise in forward wise there is a knee voltage which is the 0.3 volt for germanium semiconductors and 0.7 volt for silicon semiconductor so after the this uh, uh, knee voltage the diode is conduct and the voltage increase so the current also increase with respect to voltage so this show the forward bias of the director diode what in reverse bias graph we see here if we increase the reverse voltage but there is no uh, increase of reverse current or we increase the uh, reverse voltage but the current is remains constant what at a reverse breakdown voltage the reverse current is suddenly increase rapidly increase so this is the phenomena is called the jener breakdown or avalanche breakdown so if this voltage this phenomena occur that voltage is the reverse breakdown voltage and the current flow in that case this is the reverse wise current or breakdown current basically this is the uh, range of the 50 micro ampere for germanium and 20 micro ampere for the silicon so this is the reverse current there are many applications of the barrier diode so first is variable reactor in microwave circuit and second application it is used in variable resonant tank lc circuit here c part is very using barrier diode c is the capacitor and afc automatic frequency control where in barrier diode is used to set hello signals so barrier diode is used as a frequency modulator in radio and television sets so this is the uh, fourth application of the barrier diode which is used as a frequency modulator in the radio and television systems and in next it is used as a frequency multiplier in microwave receivers and also it is used as a rf phase shifter so these are the some applications of the barrier diodes and different fields now we conclude that the barrier diode in reverse wise operate as a variable capacitor a reverse voltage very rare so reverse voltage change so capacitor also change with the reverse voltage and depletion region or we have as a insulator or dielectric when device in the case of reverse wise and pn region plates of capacitor and width of depletion region distance of separation which is depend on the applied the reverse voltage across the barrier diode so there are that is the conclusion of barrier diodes now we discuss about the next gun diode so the a gun diode is considered as a type of diode even though it does not contains any typical pn diode junction like the other diode so in gun diode there is a no 
PN junction diode like the other diodes. What it contains consists of two electrodes. It have the two electrodes. This diode is also called as a transfer electron device or PED device. This diode is a negative differential resistance device which have the negative resistance and which is frequently used as a low power oscillator to generate microwave. And this diode or gun diode basically used as a low power oscillator to generate the uh, microwaves. So this is the application of a gun diode. It consists of any only N type semiconductor in which electrons are the majority charge carriers. And we know that in N type semiconductor, there are number of electrons are more as compared to number of holes. So the electrons are majority charge carriers in N type semiconductors. So to generate short radio waves such as microwaves, it utilizes the gun effect because this diode or gun diode have the gun effect. A photo of the gun diode. A gun diode is also known as transfer electron device, TED device, is a form of diode at two terminal passive semiconductor electronic equipment component with negative resistance used in high frequency electrons. So this is the property of the gun diode which use the negative resistance and high frequency uh, used for high frequency and have the two terminal passive semiconductors. Next, what is the gun effect? So it was invented by the Jones Vettis Combell gun in 1960 after his experiments on gallium arsenide. He observed a noise in the experiments results and this two generate of electrical oscillations at microwave frequency by steady electric field with a magnitude greater than the threshold voltage. It was named as a gun effect after this had been discovered by a gun, JB gun and the gun effects can be defined as a generation of microwave power. Power with microwave frequency of around a few gigahertz. So this is the very high frequency of the microwave. Whenever the voltage applied to a semiconductor device, so exceed the critical voltage value or threshold voltage value, In gun diode oscillators, gun diode are used to build oscillators for generating microwave with frequency range from 10 gigahertz to terahertz. It is negative differential resistance device, also called as transfer electron device, TED device oscillators which is tuned circuit consisting of gun diode with DC bias voltage applied to it. And this is termed as biasing the diode into negative resistance region. Due to this, the total differential resistance of the circuit become zero as the negative resistance of the diode cancel with the positive resistance of the circuit 
resulting in the generation of oscillations. What is the working principle of the gun diode? So this diode is made of single piece of n-type semiconductor such as gallium arsenide and INP, indium phosphide. Gallium arsenide, some other semiconductors materials have one extra energy band in their electronic band structure instead of having only two energy bands with balance band and conduction band like normal semiconductor materials or normal semiconductors and other semiconductors like germanium also these gallium arsenide and some other semiconductor materials consist of three energy band and this extra third band is empty in initially state so two band is the one is the conduction band and second is the balance band and third band, extra band is the empty in initial stage in this gallium arsenide semiconductor. So if a voltage is applied to this device, then most of the applied voltage appears across the active region. The electrons from the conduction band having negligible electrical resistivity are transferred into the third band because these electrons are scattered by the applied voltage. The third band of gallium arsenide has a mobility which is less than that of conduction band. Because of this, an increase in the forward voltage increase the field strength for the field strength where applied voltage is greater than the threshold voltage. So the if the we applied forward voltage, so we increase the forward voltage. If the strength of the forward voltage is greater than the threshold voltage value, in this in that case, then the number of electrons reaching the state at which the effective mass increase by decreasing their velocity and thus the current will also decrease in that case. Thus, if the field strength is increased, then the drip velocity will decrease or flow of drip of charge carriers decrease. This creates a negative incremental resistance region in BI characteristics or BI relationship, thus increase in the voltage will increase the resistance by creating a slice at the cathode and reach the anode. What to maintain the constant voltage? A new slice is created at the cathode Similar, if the voltage decreases, then the resistance will also decrease by extinguishing any existence slice. There are gun diode characteristics. This graph shows the graph between current versus voltage. So in this graph, we see initially stage when we increase the voltage, so current also increase and increase up to maximum peak value. That is the peak point that current will be 
high peak and at the peak voltage BP. And after this peak point, the current is decreased in typical operating point. So this is the negative resistance region because in this region, we increase increasing the voltage where current is decreasing. So this shows the negative resistance region of the gun diode characteristics. At the point where, where point is the belly point, after this point, voltage increase, so also current increase with the voltage and uh, the current increase at the maximum operating limit. So this graph, so the characteristics of the gun diode, current versus voltage relationship. The current voltage relationship characteristics of a gun diode are shown in the above graph with its negative resistance region. These characteristics are similar to the characteristics of the tunnel diode. As shown in the above graph, initially the current start increasing in this diode, but after reaching a certain voltage, that is the peak voltage level at a specified voltage value called the called a threshold, uh, threshold voltage value, the current decrease before increasing again. The region where the current falls is termed as a negative resistance region and due to this it oscillates in this negative resistance region this diode act as both oscillator and amplifier. So uh, this diode we have as a oscillator also as a amplifier as in this region the diode is enabled to amplify signal or in the case diode have the uh, uh, enabled to amplify the signal or increase the strength of the signal in that case What is the application of the gun diodes? So there are some applications of gun diodes. Gun diode used as a oscillator to generate frequency ranging from 100 milliwatt, 5 gigahertz to 1 watt, 35 gigahertz output. These gun oscillators are used to radio communications military and commercial radar sources used as sensor for detecting stress pressures to avoid derailment of trains used as efficient microwave generators with a frequency range of up to hundreds of gigahertz. Also used for remote vibration detectors and rotational speed measuring tachometers. Also gun diode used in measuring the tachometers and used as a microwave current generators pulse gun diode generators, that is the pulse gun diode generators, which used as a microwave current generator. And also gun diode used in microwave transmitters to generate microwave radio waves at very low powers. And used as fast controlling components in microelectronics such as for the modulation of semiconductor injection lasers and also gun diode 
used as sub millimeters the applications by multiplying gun oscillator frequency with dio frequency so these are the some applications of gun dio now we now discuss about the next type diode is the laser diode so what is the laser diode so laser stand for the light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation so this is the full form of the laser or laser stand for the light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation a laser diode is an electronic device which convert electrical energy into light energy so laser diode convert the electrical energy into light energy to produce high intensity coherent light and also this produces the high intensity coherent light and laser diode is very small in size and appearance so it is similar to transistor and has operation like led what it emits coherent light it is similar to the transistor and also as a light emitting diode operation what it has emit the coherent lights this is the main difference between a laser diode and simple led and transistors so material which often used in laser diode is the gallium arsenide g a s a s this is the compound semiconductor material it is also called injection laser diode this is also we can also oh, say that is the injection laser diode it work on forward bias condition and uh, work of this diode depend on the biasing and uh, this laser diode work in forward biasing when external biasing apply to this laser diode in the manner of forward biasing so this is the conduct in that manner that is the symbol of the laser diode which have the two terminal one is the anode and second one is the cathode anode is the positive terminal and cathode is the negative terminal and here the arrow show the emit of the coherent light in the laser diode so this is the symbol of the laser diode what is the laser diode construction so in construction the laser diode is made of two dop gallium arsenide layers one dop gallium arsenide layer will produce an n type semiconductor and whereas another dop gallium arsenide layer will produce p type semiconductor so this is the uh, p type semiconductor uh, diode and uh, in laser diode selenium aluminum and silicon are used as a doping agent so some we do the doping in this uh, laser diode of the selenium aluminum and silicon here so we in this uh, diagram there is the p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor they are they are joined to each other and 
after joined the here a form a junction between the p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor and uh, a depletion layer also generate across the junction there is some immobile charge that is the we have as a insulator across the junction or depletion layer we have as a dielectric or insulator so the breadth of the depletion layer depend on the applied reverse voltage across the this pn semiconductor so when a p type layer is joined with a n type layer so a pn junction is formed the point at which the p type and n type layer are joined is called pn junction so there is the formation of pn junction between the p type semiconductor and type n type semiconductor the pn junction separate the p type and n type semiconductors so this is the construction of laser diode but main step required for producing coherent beam of light in laser diode so this is the main steps to producing a coherent beam of light in laser diode so absorption of energy is the process of absorbing energy from the external energy source in laser diode electrical lasers electrical energy or dc voltage is used in external energy source as a biasing voltage when the dc voltage or electrical energy supply enough energy to the valence electron or valence band electrons so they break bonding with the parent atom and jump into the higher energy level or conduction band or jump from the valence band to the conduction band or high energy level so the electrons in the conduction band are known as the free electron so these electrons jump from the uh, valence band to conduction band so these electrons called the uh, free electrons when the valence electrons leave the valence cells so there are basically two bands valence band and uh, conduction band so valence electrons which in which is in the valence band leave the valence cell and empty space is created at the point from which electron left so this empty space is the valence cell is called a hole so this is called as a hole thus both free electrons and holes are generated as a pair because of the absorption of energy from the external dc source so we can see in this diagram there is a two level of energy e2 energy level and e1 energy level here the electrical energy fall and break the covalent bond and the valence electron jump from the valence band to conduction band and free electron also in the e2 uh, high level state and at the holes at the e level states so the valence electron jump into the higher energy state after absorbing the energy so this is the process of the uh, laser diode or so spontaneous emission what is the spontaneous emission which is occur in the laser diode so spontaneous emission is the process of emitting light or pro photons naturally while electrons falling to the lower energy state in laser diode the valence band electrons or valence electrons are in the lower energy state therefore the holes generated after the valence electrons level are also in the lower energy state on the other hand 
the conduction band electrons or free electrons are in the higher energy level or e2 energy level in simple word free electrons have more energy than holes the free electrons in the conduction band need to lose their extra energy in order to recombine with the holes in the valence band the free electrons in the conduction band will not stay for long period after a short period the free electron recombine with the lower energy holes by releasing energy in the form of photons so this is the in this diagram so the spontaneous emission in which there are free electrons releasing photons or light energy while recombining with the holes so this is the so the spontaneous emission in the laser diode next what is the stimulated emission in the laser diode so stimulated emission is the process by which excited electrons or free electrons are stimulated to fall into the lower energy state by releasing energy in the form of light the stimulated emission is an artificial process in stimulated emission the excited electrons or free electrons need not wait for completion of their lifetime before the completion of their lifetime the incident or external photons will force the free electrons to recombine with the holes in stimulated emission each incident photon will generate two photons so all the photons generated due to the stimulated emission will travel in the same direction as a result a narrow beam of high intensity laser light is produced so this is the uh, diagram which show the stimulated emission in which free electrons releasing two photons while recombining with the holes so this is the representation of stimulated emission in this diagram now how laser diode works when dc voltage is applied across the laser diode the free electrons move across the junction region from the n type material to the p type material in this process some electrons will directly interact with the valence electron and excite them to the higher energy level whereas some other electrons will recombine with the holes in the p type semiconductor and release energy in the form of light this process of emission is called the spontaneous emission the photons generated due to spontaneous emission will travel through the junction region and stimulate the excited electrons or free electrons as a result more photons are released this process of light of photons emission is called stimulated emission the light generated due to stimulated emission will remove parallel to the junction the two end of the laser diode structure are optically reflected one end is fully re reflective whereas another end is partially reflective the fully reflective end will reflect the light completely whereas the partially reflective end will reflect most part of the light but allow a small amount of light the light generated due to the stimulated emission is scattered through the partially reflective end of the laser diode to produce a narrow beam laser lights so all the photons generated due to stimulated emission will travel in the same direction therefore this light will travel to long distance without spreading the in the space
so this is the diagram construction diagram of the laser diode in which uh, reflected photons and highly reflective ends there and there are two terminals one is anode second is cathode and there is also a depletion region and light emissions and partially reflective ends so there are p type or n type semiconductor between the n type and uh, p type semiconductor there is the formation of uh, junction and also the depletion region across the junction and there are uh, uh, the flow of uh, charge carriers from one side to another across the junction so this is the uh, construction diagram of the laser diode what is the advantage of laser diode so there are some advantage simple construction lightweight very cheap small size it have highly reliable compared to other type of lasers and longer operating life and high efficiency mirror are not required in the semiconductor lasers so low power consumption device that is that is the some advantage of laser diodes and also there is some disadvantage so not suitable for the application where high power are required and semiconductor lasers are highly dependent on temperature so there are some application and uh, of laser diodes the first is laser diode are used in laser pointers second one laser diode are used in fiber optic communication and also used in barcode reader and also used as a laser printing laser scanning and range finder these are the some application of the laser diode these are some reference books for this topic and there are some multi choice questions that is very interesting and important Thank you. Thank you very much.